Hello friends, welcome to ASP preparation videos. I am your host Umar Mehmood and today I am going to discuss Math Review which is the third chapter of Safety Professional Reference and Study Guide by David Yates. Previously I have shared one video on this topic but that was not completed and I was struggling how to share mathematical concepts in a simpler and easy way. So that's why I decided to make some slides for you guys to share different mathematical concepts on easy and understandable way. Well guys, the first concept of mathematics in this chapter is order of operation. What does it mean? It means that this sequence, how any particular equation can be solved and it will be solved according to set patterns by mathematics which is we need to solve the parentheses first, then the exponents, then the multiplication, after that division and lastly the addition or subtraction. So now I am going to explain the parentheses. So parentheses are the brackets and it will also be solved according to set pattern. So first of all we will solve the round bracket, then the curly bracket and lastly the square brackets. And now the exponents. So what are the exponents? These are the powers. So in this example 2 is the base and 4 is the power. So it means that we need to multiply 2 by 4 times. So the answer will be 16. And after that multiplication, division, addition and subtraction, you know these rules and these are very simple. So before solving this example, I want to discuss basic rules of positive and negative numbers. So whenever we talk about addition and subtraction, if two positive numbers added with each other, then the answer will be positive number. And if a positive number add with negative number then the answer can be positive or negative it depends upon the number if the positive number is higher than the negative number then the answer will be positive and if the negative number is higher than the positive number then the answer will be negative and if both ne both are negative numbers which are uh, added to each other then the answer will be negative Likewise, if we talk about multiplication and division, if two positive numbers multiplies with each other, then the answer will be positive. And if one number is positive and other number is negative, then the answer will be negative. And if the both numbers are negative, then the answer will be positive. Okay, now I am going to discuss this uh, equation. So, 4 plus square bracket minus 1 round bracket minus 2 minus 1 round bracket closed square bracket closed and exponent is 2 so in this equation firstly we need to solve the parentheses the brackets so minus 2 minus 1 the answer will be minus 3 and when minus 3 multiplies with minus 1 so the answer will be positive and which is 3 and 3 square means that 9. 3 multiplied by 3. So 9 plus 4 means 13. So this will be the answer. Okay, a little more discussion on understanding the exponents. So in this example, 10 is the base and 6 is the exponent. And it can be shown like this. 10 to raise power 6 means 10 will be multiplied by 10 six times like 10 multiplied by 10 and so on the answer will be 1 million and if you have encountered a negative exponents like 10 to raise power minus 6 then it can be represents like this 10 to raise power minus 6 is equal to 1 over 10 to raise power minus 6 which is 10 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 10 and so on and the answer will be something like that okay now i am going to discuss the scientific notation so whenever you have encountered a number which is very large or which is very short then you can represent that number in a scientific notation so in this example 3,92,000 so it can be written like this 3.92 multiplied by 10 to the power 5 so whenever you have a number without a decimal then the decimal will lie at the right edge of that number so when you move decimal from the right edge to left then you will count the uh, digits between it like you will move the decimal from 
right side to left side then you will count and that is 1 2 3 4 5 so the exponent will be 5 and it can be uh, it can be shown like this 3.92 multiplied by 10 to raise power 5 okay and it also uh, expressed like this e minus 0 3 so it's mean that that is the number 4.32 multiplied by 10 to raise power minus 3 that is the scientific notation it can also be written like this 4.32 e minus 0 3 so e minus 0 3 mean e mean 10 and minus 0 3 mean the value of x which is in minus so that is the 10 to raise power minus 3 okay now i am going to solve this example 3.21 multiplied by 10 to raise power 5 and again the bracket start 4.88 multiplied by 10 to raise power minus 6 the bracket close and divided by 5.9 multiplied by 10 to raise power minus 4 so how it can be solved firstly you just pick up the numbers without the exponent which are 3.21 4.88 and 5.9 simply do the calculations multiply and divide so the answer will be 2.65 and after that you will solve the exponent and how it can be solved so you just pick the numbers the powers of 10 which is plus 5 minus 6 and minus 4 and how it can be done whenever the exponent are multiplying with each other then they will be added and when the exponent is divided the number then it will be subtract so in this case 5 plus minus 6 minus minus 4 so do the calculation when negative number multiply with negative number so the answer will be positive number so it's mean it is plus 4 so when do when you do the calculation again minus 6 and minus 4 and plus 4 sorry so the answer will be minus 2 so 5 minus minus 2 so the answer will be 3 uh, you remember these calculation which I have discussed earlier so you need to remember this okay so lastly you just add both figures like a scientific notation so the first answer was 2.65 without exponents calculation and after the exponent calculation the answer is 3 like the, that is the exponent 10 to raise power 3 so you simply uh, write it down in a uh, scientific notation which is 2.65 multiplied by 10 to raise power 3 okay so now what is engineering notation engineering notation is a version of scientific notation in which the power of 10 must be a multiple of 3 okay Instead of writing power of 10, the International System of Units, SI, uses prefixes to describe numbers. Okay, now we are going to discuss the common engineering notation, symbols and prefixes. 10 to raise power 9 is giga, the symbol is G, giga is prefix and we are discussing the nth power of 10. So 10 to raise power 6 is mega, the symbol is G, 10 to raise power 3 is kilo. 10 to raise power 2 is hecto, 10 to raise power 1 is deca, 10 to raise power 0 is none and that is 1, 10 to raise power minus 1 is deci, 10 to raise power minus 2 is centi, 10 to raise power minus 3 is milli, 10 to raise power minus 6 is micro, 10 to raise power minus 9 is nano and 10 to raise power minus 12 is pico. You need to understand these prefixes and their respective symbols because uh, you have been encountered the questions which have been used these prefixes and you have to understand the values of these prefixes okay formula or equation transposition so see this example 6x plus 5 is equal to 29 and you need to find the value of x so firstly you need to isolate the x and how you can do that like in this example 6x plus 5 is equal to 29 and if you want to get rid of 5 
then you need to subtract 5 at the each side of equation like this 6x plus 5 minus 5 is equal to 29 minus 5 do the same operation at the both side of equation so plus 5 minus 5 is equal to 0 then the answer will be 6x and that is, is equal to 24 like 29 minus 5 is equal to 24 and now you want to get rid of 6 you simply divide 6 at the both side so 6 cross 6 and 24 divided by 6 the answer will be 4 so x is equal to 4 the value of x is 4 okay now the absolute value so what is the absolute value absolute value is actually the arithmetic number which is positive so it can be short like this minus 3 bar at the both side so the answer will be 3 it's very simple okay now I am going to discuss the logarithms three basic rules these are three rules which are very simple if the values are multiplying at the one side then they will be added on the other side like log m multiply by with n and the base b is equal to log m base b plus log n base b and the other formula is if the two values are divided at the one side then they will be subtracted on the other side like log m divided by n base b is equal to log m base b minus log n base b and the third formula is if the log m to raise power n base b that is equal to n multiplied by log m base b so it means that the exponent will eventually multiply by with whole value of logarithm so these are the three simple rules of logarithms and we need to remember these okay now i am going to talk about the factorials it's very simple four factorial mean you need to multiply uh, you need to multiply four and the less values it's one multiply by two multiply by three and multiply by 4 likewise 6 means 1 you need to multiply 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and the answer will be something like that okay now I am going to discuss the Euler's number Euler's number is a mathematical constant it's a constant and the value is 2.71828 you need to remember this value and it can be expressed by E Okay, so now I am going to discuss the common geometric equation. Okay, you need to remember this all these values and all these formulas are calculated by 2D values. So it's not 3D. Okay, so square or triangle. If you find the area of square or triangle, then you simply multiply length and width. And if we talk about the circle, you want to calculate the area of circle, then the formula will be pi r square, where pi is the 3.14159, which is constant, and r is the radius of the circle. And if we talk about the triangle, so the formula of triangle is 1 over 2 base b multiplied by h. h is the height of the triangle. So you just measure the base and height and use this formula to calculate the area of triangle okay and uh, note area of an object will always result in square feet or square inch it's simple distance if you want to calculate the distance of a circle also circumference so what is circumference circumference is something like that if this is the point a and you need to hold measure the whole circle like uh, tire if you want to uh, if you want to measure the surface area of tire then you use this formula pi d or 2 pi r where d is the diameter or and r is the radius in this formula okay 
so the formula for square or rectangle is 2l plus 2d where l is the length and w is the width and now i am going to discuss the volume so if you want to <coughs> calculate the volume of square or uh, rectangle then you simply multiply length width and height if the shape is cylindrical then you use this formula pi r square multiplied by h where r is the radius and h is the height and if you want to calculate the volume of sphere then the formula is 4 over 3 pi r cube and if you want to calculate the volume of cone then the formula is pi h r square over 3 where h is the height and r is the radius okay now i am going to discuss the pythagorean theorem formula okay see this triangle it's a right angle triangle and that is the base from B to A, that is the hypotenuse A to C and that is the perpendicular C to B. Okay, now the what is the Pythagorean theorem? It's A square plus B square is equal to C square. A square plus B square is equal to C square. C is always longer than base and perpendicular and if you want to calculate the value of a then you use this formula c square minus b square square root if you want to find the value of b then the formula will be c square minus a square square root if you want the value of c then the formula will be a square plus b square square root so this is the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, now I am going to discuss the basic trigonometric functions. It's very tricky and needs your full attention. Okay, so this is also a right angle triangle. So what is these trigonometric function? These are three basic trigonometric functions like sine if you want to calculate the sine theta or sine angle then you just simply do this operation like you go divide the hypotenuse over opposite and if you want to calculate the cosine then you will you will do this operation you will divide the hypotenuse over adjacent and if you want to calculate the tangent then you will do this operation you will divide the adjacent on opposite okay and how it can be done so as i discussed earlier sine theta or sine angle so this is the sine angle that is BC okay and in this example you can see the base is A or you can say it's the opposite from this angle that is the opposite A is the opposite and its value is 3 okay and B is the adjacent its value is 4 and C is the hypotenuse and its value is 5 so when you calculate BC its mean that BC mean that opposite over hypotenuse so what is opposite opposite is A which is 3 and what is hypotenuse that is C which is 5 so you simply divide 3 over 5 likewise cos theta like cos angle if you want to find the value of cos which is BC angle BC so you just do that operation adjacent over hypotenuse and what is adjacent adjacent is 4 it's adjacent with this angle so that is 4 you need to calculate this 4 by 5 
like this and lastly the tangent that is opposite over adjacent so the tan bc will be 3 over 4 3 over 4 the opposite divided by hypotenuse okay so why i am focusing this so the reason is whenever you encounter the questions of trigonometry then you you will have the two values not all three values you will have the two values and you you have to identify the other value so it's mean that for example if you have the value of b and c then you can identify then you can calculate the value of a if you have the value of 3 and 5 like a or c then you calculate the value of b and accordingly you will choose sine angle cos angle or tangent angle so see this when i calculate 3 over 5 the answer will be 0 0.6 when i calculate 4 over 5 the answer will be 0.8 whenever i calculate 3 over 4 the answer is 0.75 and when i use the calculator and do the that operation and what is that operation actually the opposite of sine is arc sine the opposite of cos is arc cos and the opposite is of tangent is arc tan and they can be shown like this sine minus 1 exponent that is exponent cos minus 1 and tan minus 1 that can be represented in this way so when i use the calculator and press the shift uh, shift button and use the arc sign then i get the answer of this and these are the angles so as you can see the angles are same because this angle bc is same but we use different values so it's mean that when you have two values you can measure the three the third value whenever you have the two values you can calculate that angle okay so use function according to given values so you will use these functions sine cosine and tangent uh, according to given values okay now i am going to discuss the quadric equation okay so what is the quadric equation so quadric equation is whenever you need to solve the multiple unknowns like in this equation you can see x two times a x square plus b x plus c is equal to zero so x is unknown so whenever you have this kind of equation and you need to find the value of x then you use this equation that is quadric equation okay and how you can do that i'll solve an example and you will understand this okay so in this example a is equal to 2 b is equal to minus 4 and c is equal to minus 3 so that will be if i put the values a b and c in this equation so it can be like this 2 x square minus 4 x minus 3 is equal to 0 and now i am putting the values of a b and c in the quadric equation where x1 comma x2 is equal to minus into minus 4 and minus 4 is the value of b then plus minus square root minus 4 square minus 4 multiply by 2 multiply by minus 3 so when i solve this and divide it by 2 into 2 and uh, when i solve this then firstly i need to solve this and the answer will be plus 24 because you will see the negative multiply by negative 
and uh, as a basic rule of mathematics the answer will be positive number okay so minus 4 multiply by with minus 4 again the answer will be positive and that is 16 so after calculating you will see these values so x1 is equal to 2.58 and x2 is equal to minus 0 0.58 and how it will be done so firstly as you can see here plus minus plus minus plus minus so firstly when you calculate the x1 then you do the simple operation and you just use the plus ignore the minus and when you calculate the x2 then you use the minus ignore the plus so the values will be 2.58 and minus 0 0.58 okay so that's all this is the third chapter of david yet book which is math review and uh, i hope it will be convenient for you to understand the basic concepts of mathematics i try to make this video concise and easy to understandable and uh, you know whenever we talk about mathematics then it cannot be uh, understandable without solving the different questions so uh, i suggest you you must do practice use calculator and solve some examples to be uh, a masters on these skills thank you so much and if you like the video please subscribe thank you